this yoga practice is all about locating hope right where it resides in you so if the whole pattern of the universe revolves around birth death and resurrection we too can find that and maybe we find it in a single breath on an inhale or an exhale or the space in between so today i invite you to um, have all the props you need so that you can pay attention to what's going on in your body and not um, performing poses. So I've got, a, I'm going to use a windowsill on one end and the chair on the other end for some balance. I'm sitting up on a block to make more space. So gather all your props and then come back to a nice easy seated position. I invite you to close your eyes. And let's find your breath. Just breathing you. As you inhale, feeling that breath fill your body all the way down to your sitting bones, maybe your toes. And exhaling, letting it float lightly up through the spine, the neck, the jaw, right up through the crown of the head. So continue with that for a few breaths. And then perhaps suspending your breath on the base of the exhale for one or two counts. So inhaling deeply. Exhaling deeply. And you get to the bottom of your exhale. Just suspend with attention at the crown of the head. Our connection to the divine, the universe. And then begin your inhale again. Rooting down into the ground. Exhaling, let that energy float upward. And then hold. So maybe do a couple more rounds of that. Inhaling deeply, exhaling deeply, and suspending at the exhale. And just come back to your normal breathing. So as an intention, I invite you to make this just a few moments to be in your body and be aware Right? All you need is the ground underneath you and the breath moving in and out. Or maybe you'd like to make this a moving dedication, a moving prayer for a person or a group of people that could use more attention on hope, on the pattern of life, birth, death, resurrection, continuous cycle. So we're gonna move our spine, do some seated warm-ups, do a little core strengthening, and a couple of sun salutations. So here we go. On an inhale, take your arms up overhead. Turn your palms facing out and exhale down. Do that one more time, turn your palms up. Maybe they even touch together at the top. And exhale down. And then inhale, bring your hands in front of your heart and then exhale, open up to one side. And inhale, come back to center. And exhale, open up to the other. Do that one more time, each side. Just moving from above the waist. And come on back. And then take your arms up overhead. And we're gonna stay rooted Maybe holding on to one wrist 
and just gently exhale to the side. So if you're sitting on a block, you're not going to go that far, right? You've got to stay rooted. That's okay. You're still going to get the big, authentic side stretch. Go deeper if you want. Notice how a little more support gets you further. And inhale, come on back up. Exhale, take a moment. And then get ready to go to the other side. Maybe first, just using your core muscles. And then going a little bit deeper. Come on back up to all seated. Maybe already you're feeling a little more energy, a little more hopeful. So as you move, I invite you to think about where in your body you can attend to it. Maybe it's the muscles, maybe it's the bones, maybe it's deep in your gut. Let's do a little cat-cow. Inhale and gently arch. Exhale and hollow out. Move your head around, your hips. However feels right, inhale and gently arch. And exhale and hollow out. Maybe suspending at the exhale. Inhale and gently arch. Exhale and out. Inhale and arch. And exhale and out. And then we're going to find a modified plank or a low plank on your elbows or maybe a full high plank and take three deep breaths. Spreading the collarbones wide and the back of the shoulders wide and not letting the head dip. Maybe on your last exhale, attending to the crown of the head, reaching outward. And then float your knees down, if you had, were on your toes, and walk yourself back to a child's pose. So support yourself as you need, less of a bending and more of a straight spine reaching, stretching the side body, maybe your head drop. And then we're going to do a side plank. Again, many modifications. You could come on your elbow and stay on your knees and lift your hips. You could come onto the soles of the feet, being on your elbow. You could transition all the way back to full plank and take a side plank. Three breaths. Nice work. Just tuning in to our muscle energy, noticing our strength. I'm going to go straight to the other side so I have my back to you. Three breaths. Crown of the head, reaching outward. So everybody find your way back to low plank or high plank and then downward facing dog. And go ahead and walk your dog. Inhale deeply and then exhale. Find your way to standing. Feet meet the hands, hands meet the feet. Hop, baby step. And soften the knees and reach the crown of the head out long. Dropping the tailbone, hands to the ceiling. And then exhale your hands to your heart center. Okay, so we're going to go uh, two sets of sun salutations, and I'll be your mirror. So inhaling, take your arms up overhead. Exhaling, soften your knees and gently dive forward. Deep forward fold. Maybe take one breath to hang out here. Inhaling, half forward fold, fingertips under the knees. Exhaling, soften the knees, 
Take your right leg, uh, left leg back, sorry, left leg back in high lunge. You're gonna turn that heel down and inward, finding your way to warrior two. Heel to arch alignment. Three breaths here. And then windmill yourself back to the top of the mat. Use a block, chair, whatever's helpful. Then inhale, top of your push up plank, either on the knees or the toes. And then exhale, chaturanga down. Try and get your hips down last. All right, so our first back bend, be gentle. Inhaling, cobra. Exhaling, forehead back to the mat. Then reverse your push up, knees or toes, and find downward facing dog. And then you're gonna inhale, take that right leg up in the air. We're gonna find that same warrior two. Get there safely, heel to arch alignment. Knee right over the toes. So this is where you definitely wanna have your chair, or I'm gonna use the windowsill. We're going into standing half moon. So bring your hands to your hips, all right? It's just a practice. Use all your props. We're gonna to start to load our body weight onto that front foot. I'm gonna reach for the windowsill. We're trying to keep our hips open, all right? Chest open. Use a chair, have it right on your shoulder if you can. Maybe you take your top arm up in the air. Lots of energy out, especially through the crown of the head. And then I'm gonna come back to my high lunge. All right, get there safely. And forward fold, exhale deeply. Inhale, half forward fold. Exhale, hang one more time. Reverse your dot, arms up in the air. And exhale your hands to your heart. Where we're just fine, looking for those moments. Attention to the breath, attention to the body. Just finding all of that good energy you contain. So other side, inhaling arms up. Exhaling, gently dive forward. Inhale, half forward fold. Now the right leg's going back in high lunge, setting up for warrior two. All right, good alignment. See your big toe, push into the outer edge of that back foot. Three breaths. Inhale, ground. Exhale, release. And then windmill yourself back to the top of the mat. You see I've moved my front foot out to the side a little bit for balance. Top of the push-up plank. Exhaling, chaturanga. Inhaling, cobra. Exhaling, forehead to the mat. Reverse your push-up. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Take a breath. On your next inhale, left leg goes back up in the air. Find your warrior two again. Heel down, core strong. Energy out through the crown of the head as you load your body weight onto that front foot. For standing half moon. Use your drishti, use your breath. Nice work. And I'm gonna find my high lunge again so that I can come to forward fold safely, exhaling deeply. Inhaling half moon, I mean a half forward fold. Exhaling hang. Reverse your dive, arms up in the air. And exhale your hands to your heart. Okay, second sun salutation, closed hip poses we're gonna do. Um, warrior one. And standing split. So find your Tadasana. Inhaling arms up. Exhaling, softening forward fold. 
Inhale, half forward fold. Exhaling. Take the left leg way back from high lunge again. And turn that heel down and inward. Have some space down the middle of your mat, like a maybe a double yellow line or a solid white line. Hands to the thighs, crown of the head. Takes the energy out and up to bring your shoulders over your hips. So hips and shoulders pointing to the short edge of your mat. Take three breaths here. Then exhale, bring your hands to your heart. We're gonna load our body weight onto that front foot. You could use the chair, right? Or you could find a block or the floor. Lift those left toes in the air as high as you can. Rounding through that standing leg. Find some release on the exhale. Need you nod your head, yes. And then find your high lunge again, safely front knee over the ankle. Find the top of your push-up plank, knees or toes. Exhaling, chaturanga. Drop those hips, inhaling, cobra. Maybe you're ready for an up dog or a modified up dog. Good, drop, forehead back to the mat. Inhale, reverse your push-up. Exhale, down dog. And then look at your thumbs and just walk your feet in to meet your hands or your hands to meet your feet. Land in a deep forward fold. Inhale, half forward fold. Exhaling, hang. And reverse that dive to come to Tadasana. Exhale your hands to your heart. So last one, second side. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, gently dive forward. Inhale, half forward fold. Find your warrior one. And this second side, space between the heels. Crown of the head leads the spine long. And arms up, three breaths. And then begin to load your body weight for that standing split. So you could use a chair, block, ground. Lots of length. One more deep inhale and exhale. And then finish your flow. High lunge. Top of the push-up plank. Exhaling, chaturanga down. Inhaling, cobra or up dog. Exhaling, chaturanga down again. Inhale, push away. Find your downward facing dog. Good work. From here we're gonna float to our knees and find your child's pose. Totally attentive to the breath, sensations in the body. Maybe you wanna drop your elbows and bring your fingertips behind, together behind your head. Reach your arms way far forward. Bring yourself back up to all fours. See if it can shift. Be seated. We're gonna come right down onto our backs. Maybe you wanna have a block handy. Just get there safely, roll to one side, or just roll yourself down. If you'd like, you could finish with an active bridge pose. Or maybe a sorted bridge pose, supported bridge pose. I'm going to stick this block under my sacrum. I'm on the medium height, right? There's a low, medium, and high. Tuck my shoulder blades together, lengthen my spine. Come back to your breath. Even here, feel yourself completely supported. 
Maybe it would feel good to start dwelling out. A little pain in the low back. We'll switch legs and switch the other leg out. Or maybe try both legs stretched out. you are preparing to finish up in Shavasana, the most important pose of all. Have your hips, you were in a bridge or supported bridge. Maybe you want to stay right here for Shavasana or find some other variation. Traditional stretched out. Just a few months. All that movement to be still. An opportunity to connect to yourself, to your breath, to the divine, to the universe. Just be free. Nothing to do until you hear my voice again. So bringing your attention back to your body before you get moving. Maybe one more deep inhale and exhale and then suspending at the deepest part of the exhale for a count or two. And as you get moving, maybe fingers, toes or a big morning stretch. Again, affirming our breath is that most closest intimate pattern of birth, death, and resurrection. We just choose to abide in that for the time that you practice or maybe even carrying it throughout your day. Eventually pushing yourself up to seated, maybe keep your eyes closed. I have this quote to share from Krista Tippett. Hope, like every virtue, is a choice that becomes a practice, that becomes a spiritual muscle memory. It's a renewable resource for moving through life as it is, not as we wish it to be. So on inhale, bring your hands to your heart center. Exhaling. Bow your head to your heart. Give yourself that mental pat on the back for cultivating this 
renewable resource, hope. The spirit of me honest the spirit of each of you. Namaste.